All right, so it is a very windy day today. I didn't know it was gonna be this windy. I think the water might be a little rough, but today we are heading out to the big old pier. We stopped at the tackle shop. They did not have any shrimp, which was the bait I was going to use, but that might be a blessing in disguise because we picked up a bait that I personally have never tried here, but I think it might be possibly something that could help us catch something pretty nice. It's five bucks, and if you don't car, there's a 50 cent fee to make it 550. All right, thank you, man. Yes, sir. Yep, you cool. Me too, thanks. Paid the five dollar entrance fee. Holy crap, dude. Just from walking out here, dude, there's so many people fishing. They're all on this side. I'm guessing because the wind's kind of gusting and blowing towards the right. Again, I didn't know it was going to be this windy. I didn't know there was going to be this many people either. That might make sense why they sold out a shrimp at the tackle shop that was right near here. All right, well, either way, this is what uh, the beach looking like it's not very warm it hasn't really been warm around here it's in like probably like the 60s which is i mean that's warm for freaking january you know for florida and stuff it's not the warmest sun is shining so at the taco shop they did have mud minnows so i picked up a dozen of those you never really know flounder season is back open and bluefish and a lot of different stuff we'll eat a mud minnow right the other thing we picked up i don't know if you guys can see them too well in there we got some other stuff in there too but we have two blue crabs Ooh, i have never ever ever fished with blue crabs at this pier and i've very rarely fished with blue crabs in general they're more of like a delicacy to me you know we've done a lot of catch and cooks eating blue crabs you know you know they are freaking tasty oh, this doesn't look too bad oh this is definitely fishable might have to put heavier lead on but yeah pompano if there's any i mean still around here redfish black drum this goes on and on there's so many things that could possibly eat a blue crab but we're gonna see if anything can hit also sheep's head possibly what's up birds always gotta say hi to the locals all right water clarity honestly it's not the best but we're gonna see what we can do you don't know if you don't know One of the reasons I really wanted to come to the pier is because we honestly haven't been here. Like, how long has it been, man? A long, long time. I'm not exactly sure if you can even catch stuff <laughs> this time of year. I mean, there's people here. I'm, I'm sure you can catch stuff. I just don't know how much cool, big stuff, you know? Dream catches would be a nice size flounder, redfish, big bluefish, black drum, sheep's head. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's the salt water you never freaking know. I think there's a lot of whiting around. That might be what a lot of these people are going for, possibly. All right, let me rig this stuff up here. Just dropped the price tag off our brand sparkly new scissors. I figure I shouldn't take the ones from the house. Kelsey probably would not approve. These are going to be our new crab scissors, and this is our bait. Again, I've only used... What the heck? Oh, they're feeding the birds. <laughs> you catch a crab. Oh, uh, no, this is my bait. I got it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to dispatch this guy super quickly. I figure it's probably best to do that off camera. All right, and then I've only done this like once before. If any of you guys have any tips, recommendations, let me know down in the comments below. We're going to chop these legs off. Take the shell off. Each of these little uh, leg holes, we're just going to chop. I don't want these flying off. Chop that. Chop that, chop that. Now we got some good freaking bait. I do not want the bird stealing this. That little girl, was, I don't know if she's feeding popcorn or something. She summoned a whole freaking bird army over here. I'm gonna stick this through the hole and out like that. So there we go. I believe people call this crab knuckles. I'm gonna put this here. All right, I think we're good to go. So the rig, super simple. This is just a fish finder rig. We got a little four ounce sinker. Hopefully that works. Swivel, leader, I think this is one knot circle hook right there y'all can see there's a nice pure piling i'm gonna toss it right next to there and see if anything hits man again whiting are around i believe i did see one person catch one you never know sheep's head drum I mean, this is premier bait. I don't know what everybody else is throwing out here. I saw some people using artificial flavored bait. But this is some good freaking stuff, man. Oh, I just, I think I just got bit, dude. It's definitely very strong waves and current. Dude, literally, like, a wave just hit the pier, and I felt it 
thrash. Like the pier just quaked. That would be way more gusty, windy. But over on this side, it is, we're chilling. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set it down. I don't know why I feel like I always have better luck when I put my stuff resting down. Loosen that drag on up. So this is a uh, quick look at the pier. It definitely looked like there was a lot more people when I was at the beginning of it. There's a good amount of people out, especially for like a random day in January. I don't know what I was expecting, but definitely not this many people. Okay. Oh yeah, down more, I see them. You're catching, uh, looks like silver perch, which we got into a good mess of those last video. They're pretty fun, man. We actually, like if you guys didn't see last video, we got into a bunch of different species of fish. Oh, looks like that guy caught a whiting down there too. I wonder if we have to move down a little bit. Let's make sure we still got bait on there. Yes, we do. All right, we're gonna, I'm gonna try something. It's a little bit windier. Let's try this side. I don't think I just got a shark. Looks like one of those little bonnet head sharks. So this side's definitely a lot windier. We got, look at this, nice view of the uh, surfers out there. Look like a bunch of seals in their wetsuits. Will this bait work? Dang, these are some big waves. Bro, is it just me? Why every time I'm trying to take a freaking pre-rigged rig out of a package, is it always? What are you um, I think most people are catching whiting right now. Oh, whiting, yeah. I'm just going for whatever bites. Yeah. We got this other rod rigged up here. I don't know how well this will handle. <laughs> it's not the biggest rod. These conditions are a little bit fierce, I'd say, for the setup. But I think it's up to the the task. We have a pompano rig, which has two hooks, and you guys have seen me use this a bunch. It's got floats. It will put our crab in different parts of the water column. And I guess basically, this is a uh, experiment here. Most people around me are using shrimp. I don't know where the heck everybody got the shrimp. <laughs> I guess I missed out on the party. I'm like freaking Ash Ketchum when he gets to the Pokemon lab later than everybody. I got stuck with the leftovers. But sometimes the leftovers aren't always bad, man. Look how Pikachu turned out. So far though, I've seen uh, whiting. I saw a palometto, which is kind of like a pompano, but it's like a little bit different. And I saw a shark get caught on uh, shrimp. So far the shrimp has got a leg on us. This poor rod is not meant for this. I've got a four ounce sinker. That, that thing, we'll see if anything bites that. Jeez, man, you never freaking know. All right, I think, I don't even know if our crab on this is still like crabby. We've probably been fishing with this for like half an hour. Oh, yeah, there's not much like meat left in there. We'll just kind of chuck that. All right, let's get this out there as well.
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Big flounder. Oh my gosh. Whew. <laughs> Holy freaking crap, dude. I literally just put down the freaking mud minnow. Alright, chill, 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 chill. Holy. Alright, let me get let me get this out of him. You see the freaking mud minnow in his mouth right there at the tip. Good job, man. Hey, thanks, man. What did you fish with? Uh, minnow. Oh, this is good. Too deep? Oh. You gotta be important. Save my hook at least. Just stuck on his tooth. 14. It's like paper. It's like over 14. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whoa. You can eat this a low fish, right? What's that? Uh, not cook. I mean low fish. As it is, like that. The what? <laughs> you know? You said, can you eat this oh, raw? raw? Yeah. Raw, you say, like sushi. Yeah, yeah, yeah sushi. that's what they say. Low fish. Oh. Sushi. Yeah, no. I, I don't. Can do I that. have this one? This? Yeah. Yeah, we from Chicago, so. Oh, yeah. Chicago. It's a one of a kind of memory. That's what I say. Oh, okay. Cool. It's a lot warmer here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> do you want this? Because you help, you help me with that. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. That was cool. Well, <laughs> it was not on the blue crab, but that is definitely something. That was the first minnow. Let's get another one out of here. We literally just chucked it down there. I tried to put my rod down and it just was a big weight. Oh, jeez. These things are frisky. All right. Right back down near the piling. We are back fishing. Keep an eye on that minnow. There might be some more down there. I'm surprised nothing's touched the freaking crap. All right, we ended up scooting down a little bit to the left. The guy that was next to us, I gave that flounder to. He dipped. He was super happy about it. He was a really nice guy. You might be asking, like, why didn't you uh, keep and eat the flounder, do a little catch and cook? We've done multiple recently, like, from this pier. I think from the same freaking piling. <laughs> I've caught some nice flounders, so I'll link both of those videos down in the description below if you guys want to check those out after this one. Not the mission today is to catch and cook a flounder. Them thick old pancakes are tasty though, I'll tell you what. I'm just surprised literally nothing has touched the crap, dude. What is good? I don't know if y'all could really even see that though. Literally right when I threw it down, right near this piling, I tried to put my rod down and I felt like it was like weird. It was like a weight and then I just lifted it up. I was like, oh, I, I just knew, man. I didn't know it was going to be that big of a flounder. They have to be 14, and they uh, actually just opened up the season, like, November 30th, I think. All right. I wouldn't mind catching another one. I also gave it to that guy because he uh, he helped me get my hook back out of it. He had, like, one of those hook um, on hooker. What do, <laughs> I don't know what they're freaking called. And he helped me measure it, so... Shout out to that guy. Should have asked him how he's gonna cook it. Not bad though, man. First fish of the day broke the ice. It's always fun just to watch, you know? See what other people are up to. All right, so we're gonna keep that minnow on for obvious reasons. But we are gonna put new crab on this rig. I'm not really sure if I should be using this rig or just a single bottom. I don't really know. I mean, really, with this, we're just fishing for whatever bites. The thing is, though, if we get a decent-sized fish like that freaking flounder on this rod, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. I don't know, man. There have been times where I swear I'm getting bit. It's just hard to tell. Oh, yeah. 
Oh man, that's big whiting, dude. Holy crap. That's what's crazy. If there's like people around catching whiting, I'm surprised that we haven't caught one on the blue crab. Do they not like blue crab? You think we would have caught something? I swear I keep getting bit. It's just, it's hard to tell. Huh. How's our minnow doing? That's what we don't want. See, these waves kind of tangle this rig up sometimes. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? I follow you on TikTok. Oh, really? Yeah. How's it going, dude? Good, how are you? Dude, we're getting nibbled on this. That's always so cool, though, when you guys come up and say what's up. I appreciate the heck out of all y'all for all the freaking support, man. Yep. Just cool, you know, talk to y'all, talk about fishing. See, that's a bite. I swear that's a bite. I don't know. Is the, is the crab pieces too big for whatever's nipping at me, maybe? Oh no, that's a bite, dude. Something's biting us. This is my goal today. I just want to catch something on the crab. I don't think I've ever caught anything on a blue crab before ever. We've gone fishing with it. Like once. And I definitely did not catch anything that day, I don't think. <laughs> Dang man, that's a third shark, third or fourth. I've seen somebody pull up, like decent size too. Oh, he caught one there too. Dude, that's like, oh my God, somebody down there caught one. <laughs> Dude, it's freaking bonnet head blitz. They're all bonnet head sharks, which uh, they actually eat crustaceans and stuff. Dude. I would like, I'm not even joking, I would like to catch one of these. Apparently they're pretty good eating. Holy crap, dude. Shark after shark. What the heck are they throwing? Dude, just that guy alone, that's the third in a row. In like a three minute span. He's averaging one per minute. But he keeps releasing them on this side. Uh, you got some? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't mind. Oh, you sure? Yeah. All those? I'm good. Oh, appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Thanks okay. again, man. I appreciate it. Holy crap. This is a experiment, if I've ever seen one. All right. Let's get this back in here. That was very kind. All right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that is a freaking shrimp. Look, now we can use our scissors. What? Little pieces, like that. All right, so this is science. This is the same exact rig we were just throwing out blue crab with. I think we were getting nibbled. Couldn't really tell. I'm just gonna hold this. I have a feeling this might be instant. Someone's biting the blue crab, dude. Right when we got shrimp, now someone wants to bite the blue crab? Question mark? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if we have one on. Oh, we do. <laughs> no, we lost it. We freaking lost it. Oh no. It's all good. Whatever that was that bit us that just got off, it was small and 
Yeah, I don't know. It could have been the same thing biting the blue crab. It just couldn't get the blue crab in the mouth as good as the shrimp, possibly. Now, this, like, look, this is not an experiment experiment where it's like, oh, well, shrimp must be better than blue crab, like, in general, you know? This is just a today thing. Like, what works better today? Seemingly the shrimp, because we actually hooked something. <laughs> I mean, I guess what's working the best is freaking mud minnows. I think what we learned from today is just good to have options. So if you go to the pier, make sure you you got all types of things. Because you never freaking know, man. And also, I mean, the thing about it, it changes different times of the year. I mean, shoot, a lot of variations and variables that come with fishing, as y'all know, man. The moon, the tide, the wind, the time of year, temperature, the water. I'm determined now, man. Someone's gonna hit this left one. Seems like the shark bullets died down. <laughs> that was kind of cool to see. I don't know if they, I guess they come in schools or something. I don't know. Get out of here, bird. You know, freaking go. I warned you, bird. Them little beady eyes. I guess while we wait, let's go ahead and check on our crab here. Do we still have crab? Still crab, kinda. It's kind of funny to these guys behind me. Like there's a bunch of surfers on that side you guys saw earlier. These guys are like in a war with them. Like they're trying to cast, but the surfers are trying to vibe and surf. Surprise this other rod with this little freaking pompano rig isn't getting demolished more. Just, I mean, like, at least with like perch and stuff. I think that might've been what bit earlier. It was a little silver perch. I couldn't see it though. The sharks are back. Oh, do I have something? I might have something smaller here. Oh yeah, what do we got? All right, on the shrimp. Again, shout out to the supporter giving us the shrimp. Second fish of the day, second species. This is a little silver perch. Cool. Again, these things are tasty. They put up a nice little fight. But this is not... Uh, Really what I'm targeting. If I want to catch something on the shrimp, but you're looking for something a little, a little bigger, a little meatier. Wouldn't mind one of those big freaking whiting. I've seen, I've been seeing them catch. You know what I was just thinking about? That's kind of funny actually. That was the first time anybody has ever come up to me. I said, I follow your TikTok. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I'm a TikToker. I did tell y'all in the last video, I'm trying to be more active on uh, Instagram and TikTok. No good? Nothing? Uh, we caught one everywhere. Yeah, they right there now. Looks like everything got a little slow now. Haven't seen anybody catch anything in a little bit. We got uh, two rods with shrimp out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think we have fish on. The wave took it and then something was biting it. All right, y'all, the sun is on its way down. We got some Chipotle. I'm about to demolish this, but yeah, man, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. Not the craziest day of fishing, but that was a really nice flounder. That was an unexpected catch. Honestly, I wasn't even going to buy mud minnows today. So that kind of like, it's funny how, I don't know, life works and we ended up getting some shrimp anyway. I had a lot of fun, dude. Again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next you video.